For a city that never sleeps, New York has a lot of dreamers. It's so exciting to see you here right now. Katie Keene. The pilot is sensational. I think that fans are gonna love it. If for some reason they have not seen Riverdale, can you explain the connection to them? Well, I am one of the biggest connections is because Josie has left Riverdale and is now you know, pursuing her dreams in New York. Um, the only other thing that really kind of makes it a spinoff is just that it's an extension of the universe. You know, you were seeing in another part of the world where there's a lot less death um, where other Archie characters live. <laughs> so that's kind of the segue into this new place, but it's nothing like Riverdale. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's staying alive. <laughs> For now. No, for always. <laughs> When we last saw Josie, she was leaving Riverdale, and mm -hmm. she was saying that her dream was to go to New York. She was about to go and go on tour with her dad. Yeah. Where are we when we see Josie in Katie Keene? Well, she's been on tour with her dad for a while, and, you know, we're assuming that she's gotten that really good taste of what it's like to be a traveling musician, the way that she's always heard her father was, and hopefully, you know, a lot stronger in her own right as a performer you know, especially if you're doing live performances. <laughs> and she just kind of had to leave that safety net and take that leap and the next step in her own career as a singer-songwriter. One yeah. of the things that I think fans are really going to love is that Katie Keene is a little bit further in the future than Riverdale. Yeah, yes. Do you know yeah. about how long of a time jump that is? Um, I just know they're in their, like, mid-20s. There's, there's a lot of five years being thrown around. I'm not sure. We're just, she's not in high school anymore. So when you see her maybe have a little romance, it's okay, because uh, she's, a, she's a big girl. Well, see, that's the thing. Yes, she is a big girl, and thanks to, I like to think, it's thanks to the relationship that she had with Archie. You know, it was the first time she was ever truly vulnerable in that way, to let somebody in, and to see her be soft, and to see what she's like when she feels like she fails, um, and is okay with allowing other people to see that softness. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I was surprised to see in the pilot is that Katie is actually an old friend of Veronica Lodge. Yeah! And Josie, of course, had that great relationship with Veronica. They yes. sang and performed together so many times. In what world could we possibly be setting up that crossover? You know, I don't know, in, in like a perfect world? Um, I honestly, like I would love for Veronica to pop up in New York. It would only make sense considering that she came from New York. Um, to Riverdale and to have her circle back to her old stomping grounds and to see, you know, the woman that she's turning into and maybe seeing all the cool little spots that she loved to hang out in and just, you know, finding that dynamic again between mm -hmm. the two girls and then ultimately the three of us. Mm -hmm. I think what I'm excited for Riverdale fans to see is that this is a happy show. Yeah. It's like, it's just, it's just like candy. It's yes. so much fun. It's, you know, that's one of my favorite things about it is that it has a lightness and hope to it that is absolutely gone in Riverdale. It's not like it's not all the way gone, but it's on its way out. Like hope is never anywhere around. But you know, in in Katie Keene, I also love the fact that even though it is very bright, you know, there's still drama. You know, there's still hardship. There's still that grit because it's life. You know, life isn't it without it. Yeah, and it takes place in New York. Yes. Which we know that Josie can handle. <laughs> yes, she can. There's a fun line in the pilot. Yes, yeah, that's that was actually really funny. Um, and I was shocked how funny it ended up being um, when we were shooting that scene and Johnny, like, cackled out, and I was like, Haha, it is, yeah. <laughs> it was just, it was really funny. You're like, there's laughter on the yeah. set. So, oh my God, are we happy? <laughs> The Black Hood is nowhere near here. Right? But it was still so amazing to get to see you perform and still get to see Josie on our stage. What does it mean for you to be able to evolve as a performer through this new show? You know, it was really touching because, you know, one of the one of the moments where you see Josie singing and I, I got to watch the pilot, I didn't expect it to be as moving as it was, especially being a New Yorker myself and going in and out of the city all the time and seeing people sing on the subways and on the streets and wanting to join in but like not wanting to like steal the spotlight or anything but you know it it was really it was really something to watch 
two people who don't know each other and are from comp two completely different worlds connect through this one medium of music and have it be so beautiful and attract other people to it. It, it was like it was like a warm little light, it was like a little fire in the darkness. I wasn't expecting to be so touched by something that I've done for three years now that is still hard for me and to see it on screen and to feel that, you know, I've really kind of found that, that space where I can shine and Josie can too. It's, it's something. This show is all about young people struggling to reach their dreams. Yeah. And I feel like everyone's gonna be able to relate to that. Was there ever a moment in your own career when you're like, I don't think I can do this anymore? Yes. <laughs> Um, there were a couple, and my, it wasn't even so much that I couldn't do it anymore, it was that I couldn't sustain myself on the path that I was on. Even though I knew I couldn't deviate from acting as a career altogether, I was going to have to change the plan a bit, and I wasn't ready to make that change. Yeah. Um, but I was struggling, and then I ended up booking Riverdale, and that changed it and there's still so many lessons that I'm learning now at this point in my career because it's still so young and you know kind of in its infancy a bit so I'm learning as I go but I've definitely have the I've had those moments. Mm -hmm. I love that Katie Keene is such a fashion forward show. Yeah. Katie of course is, wants to be a fashion designer she's so great she mm -hmm. has all those great clothes how do you think we're gonna see Josie's style evolve? I don't know I feel like she's I mean she already She's has a great definitely, style. She does have a great style, and it is elevated a bit. And I know that she's always going to take that extra bit of advice from somebody who's in the know, whether it's from Katie or even from Pepper, because Pepper very much so is an it girl. <laughs> um, I, you know, I think it'll be fun. I'm just excited to be on set with a bunch of, like, rolls of fabric because I used to sew when I was young. <laughs> and just, the, I just, I'm gonna, they're gonna find me, like, wrapped up in the fabric on set and just pulling it to see which way the stretch is and just mm, anything fashion and clothes and making, it's gonna be so much fun. I'm just so excited because you know that I've always wanted Josie to have more time to shine. Yeah. And when we first met her on Riverdale, she was that it girl. She had the sass. She was, wasn't she? She came through and she was just like, Archie, don't even think you can try and join my group. She had that She's sass. So and so we're going to get to kind of see her with these other quote unquote it girls. Yeah. And and kind of like see what, what this is going to be like. What does that mean for you to be able to play this out? You know, it's great because it's nice to be in an environment where there are people who are striving for the same thing, yeah. you know, and we can all support each other. And even though we're from different backgrounds, we all still understand that struggle of wanting to succeed mm -hmm. in our career in a city that <laughs> sometimes is so hard to just be in. And so having that safety net, especially at home, is, is going to be really nice. Definitely. Yeah. Have you been able to keep in touch with anyone from Riverdale? Yeah. Uh, you know, as much as I can. You know, everybody's always so busy, but, you know, I'll text, I'll FaceTime, you know, I'll send little videos here and there just to, you know, send out the little love, even if it's just like a gif of me throwing hearts. <laughs> you know, that's <laughs> in anything that I can do to just, you know, keep them in my space. Well, and you were so close with Casey. I know he goes to New York quite yeah. a bit. Yeah, I, that's definitely a crossover I would like to see happen. I would love, I would love for Casey to come to New York and, you know, to have Kevin get bitten by that Broadway bug because it would be so perfect. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, we're not going to be saying goodbye to you on Riverdale just yet. We will be seeing you in the season four premiere. Yes. Which is going to be a tribute to the late Luke Perry and also his on-screen character Fred Andrews. Yeah. What did that mean for you to, to come back for that episode and what can you share about that episode? Um, well, I was really thankful to be a part of it. You know, I had, I really wanted to. I didn't know when it was gonna happen, but I definitely let it be known that however possible, you know, I wanted to pay my own respects as well. It was tough, it was really tough. It was a really hard episode and, you know, it was kind of a, a grieving process for all of us and especially for me. So you're, you're going to see that, you're going to feel that when you watch the episode. It is going to be very tearful and touching and heart-wrenching, but, you know, it's necessary. And I, I feel like we've done him and his character justice, and I just hope that everyone sees that and receives it the same way, you know, especially his family and and everyone else who knew him, who had the pleasure of meeting him.